This time of the year, this time of the year, what is a good type area to search out to find those bass that are moving in to spawn? We call that a staging area, kind of a pre-spawn area or a pre-pre-spawn area that they're staging. Good morning, guys and girls. Good morning, guys and girls. Deuteronomy. 23, March 24, Deuteronomy 23, do not let your heart faint, do not be afraid, and do not tremble or be terrified. Well, that's some pretty good advice until things go wrong. <laughs> One of the surest ways to fail in fishing. By the way, I'm reading from a Catch a Better Life book. Uh, this is a devotional that I wrote uh, yeah, it took me about it took you about a year and a half to write it, actually. Got a scripture for every single day, a devotional for every day, and a fishing tip for every day. This book will make your life better because it starts every day in the Word of God. One of the surest ways to fail in fishing is to be afraid to fail. Some tournament fishermen, many tournament fishermen are. Tournament fishermen fall into this trap. Often, I've done it myself. I sure have. The best fishermen, the best fishermen will be the ones who gamble. The ones who leave honey holes that are not producing. Honey holes that are great spots, they're not catching anything. They try areas that they haven't seen in years. They just, you know, something pops into their heads and they'll try it every uh, place they hadn't fished. They'll try lures that they didn't throw in practice. And basically, here's what they do. They trust their own confidence. They trust their own ability. God is saying in today's verse to never be afraid or terrified as long as your trust and your faith are in God. There's nothing left to fear. That's the reason. There's nothing left to fear. God will always go with you to fight against whatever the enemy may be. Whatever the problem, whatever the circumstance, whatever the situation, God will always be there and he'll go ahead of you. He's preparing and laying groundwork to solve problems that you haven't even had yet. That's exactly what God's doing. Most Christians need more faith. I need more. I need more faith. If you want to think of something that you want to add to your prayers that you pray to the Lord God Almighty every single day, ask Him for more faith. Ask Him for more faith. I'm thinking you probably need more faith as well. We get that through past experience with God. We can look back on problem after problem after problem. Those of us that have been a saved, born-again Christian for a long time can look back on so many troubling, desperate, dire situations that God saw us through. So we get that from past experience, and we get that through hearing the message about Jesus Christ. We gain more faith by being in God's Word, by reading and listening to and hearing the message about Jesus Christ, reading our Bible, listening to devotionals, watching sermons, in person, on television, in social media, whatever. We get more faith by those situations right there. Here's our tip for today, and it's a good one. This time of the year, search out shallow flats, shallow flats, three, four, five, six, seven foot deep, shallow flats that touch deeper water. Okay, the best ones are the ones that the bend in a creek channel or river channel touches that shallow water is perfect. So you're looking for a shallow flat. It may or may not have vegetation on it, depending on the type of lake you're fishing. Uh, many times it's a, a lake that's got grass in it, which is perfect. And if that sh shallow water, that when it touches that deep water, if that deep water is a bend in a creek that comes around and touches that flat, that's perfect. That's one of those perfect places to spawn. Sometimes you see guys sitting out in, in tournaments throwing a crankbait or throwing a spinnerbait or, or a bladed jig or something like that, uh, a, a rattlebait, something out over the grass or, or, or in that shallow water that goes out many times, that's it. So when you have a creek that makes a bend, it can be a long point, it can be an outside bend, it could be an inside bend, but where a creek channel or a river channel touches that flat, those are the areas that produce really, really well this time of the year. The fish are coming out of that river, coming out of that creek, pulling up on that flat. Right where that flat touches those, those can be the spots where sometimes you can pull in there and just catch bass after bass after bass. The lake's got a lot of fish in it, sometimes you can do that all day long. They won't necessarily be biting great all day long, but you can sit there and catch them 
all day long. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, you make the day, the day doesn't make you. And I sure do love you.